everybody welcome back to another episode of bravely second so we've got a lot to do this episode first let's just get this party chat out of the way the ancient warrior redux the more i look at ku the more i'm certain you mean he really is the same as the statue of the ancient warrior from your father's study i couldn't stop thinking about it so i went back and i was looking through my old diary entries you wrote about it back then the ancient warrior i mean yeah, when I broke the replica, my father flew into a rage. My brother found me moping in my room and explained it all. He told me that father treasured the statue more than anything. He said that it had the power to cure all disease and heal the gravest of wounds. He found it in explorations and donated it to the church, but it disappeared from the vault some years ago. So it just vanished? That's kind of creepy. Okay. Um, I don't think I need anything here. Oh, I could probably go to the end super, super quickly because I am... I went through a couple fights there, so let's just go ahead and um, <clears throat> do a quick heal. And yeah, we've got a lot. Oh, my cursor's there. We've got a lot to do in the next couple up, ep uh, couple episodes, and you guys will see why in a minute. So we'll give it a quick save here. Bang, bang, bang. Okay. I'm moving forward. It heartens me to see you safe, sire. I have the two of you to thank for that. Bella, Ku, forgive me. They went down fighting for the cause. Just like we will, should it come to that. You will succeed, sire. You must. You must not let the convictions, the sacrifices of our comrades go for naught. Just so, Nikolai. And yet we have a problem. These memories. You have them too, Majesty. They keep coming back to me, like horrible dreams. I thought as much. If we all have these memories, it is all but certain that you and his companions do as well. Precisely. We can assume that our plans are an open book. We must get to the compass before they do. Psych! I'm gonna get there first. And let yourself be captured again? I think not, Your Majesty. Stay here, sire. I shall claim the compass. Our foes expect us. That will give them the advantage, even over you. <laughs> I am aware of the danger. Weighed against our cause, this life means nothing to me. Geist! This is no time to waver. You have a mission, to wield the compass and do what must be done. You risk your life for your cause, as well you should. So it falls to me, your loyal servant, to risk my life to deliver the compass to you. My friend, I will not let your devotion, your deep convictions be in vain. <laughs> No, you will not, sire. Lest I haunt you from beyond the grave. Okay. So that's cool and all, but actually, first, <clears throat> you see all those little blue dots? That is all of the jobs that we need to get. Those are all the side quests. So before we do any of that... So first things first, I guess let's just go ahead and do this side quest. I wonder if they're going to be any different, or are they going to be the exact same? I guess we'll see right now. Let's go ahead and head to the first one here. And of course, now we have to pick the job that we didn't pick the first time. So. I wonder, do we have to go through the entire dungeon again? I wouldn't think so. What's my encounter level at real quick? Oh, blue chest. Forgot. And if I do have to go through all that dialogue again, maybe it be new? Ooh. That could be a good one. Are you better? It is better. That to be we Oh, to wield it in pairs. I need two of these. Okay, well, anyway. Let's put that on her for now. Bang, bang. Who ordered this meeting anyway? And I hear that some hot... So if it's the same, I'm going to be skipping it. Counselor. <laughs> Guys, I don't want to hear the same thing again, I'm just going to be honest. So, if it is, I'm going to read it. If it's the same, I'm just going to go past. If it's new, I'll hold up. Hear ye, hear ye! 
Minister Cameron? Fellow as you are. I think. Oh, no need to explain. What? Okay, so it is new, sort of. Okay, so Grandship is unique because of its generous poor laws that help old folk and orphans. Precisely. At the same time, with no industry to speak of, the country is having a hard time paying for the handouts. Indeed, you have listened well. So, you want to cut taxes in a really big way and stimulate the nation's economy? Oh yes, that's it exactly! At the same time, you'd abolish all the poor laws, effectively abandoning the people who rely on them. Meanwhile, Alternus here wants to preserve the current system and continue helping the weak. Unfortunately, that costs serious money, which is bound to run out, and sooner rather than later. That about sums it up, right? I would quibble with some of the language, but you have the gist of it. Yes, it is a fair summary of the situation. She is the daughter of the Grand Marshal of Eternia? Surely she can help us! She can show us a way out of our predicament! Hey, speak, girl. Okay. Right. Here's so we can kind of just cut to the chase. Okay, I love it. Um... Um, you need to cut taxes. Yes, so that would be going against him, right? Yes. Make sure I pick the right one here. You, you have to reduce taxes, even if it means abolishing the poor laws. Lydia, not you too. Has this man poisoned your mind? No, I'm thinking clearly, Alternus. Your poor laws are wonderful. I truly believe that. And I understand why you want to protect them. But they have to be sustainable. Someone has to pay for them. If the country collapses, no one will be protected. What use will your poor laws be then? You sorely disappoint me, Idia. You would so callously abandon those in need? It's not like that! Oh, but it is! If you are prepared to embrace this scoundrel and his inhumane policies, you leave me no choice. I warn you, Idia. Is this your final decision? Indeed. Then the debate is over, Idia. My sword will speak for the orphans you would abandon! I love how, like, he wants to protect us the entire game, and all of a sudden it's a couple of kids, and he's like, I'm gonna kill you. You would forsake the common people? You will taste my anger and my steel! Okay, let's just go ahead and default. Default, default, default. Okay. Ooh, it, it did 666. It's actually hilarious. Default on everyone again. Okay, we didn't really take any damage away from him yet, so... Okay. Now what we can do is we can do what we usually do here. Let's do a meteor rain. Meteor rain. Default. Default. And we could probably do one more default. Why not? Here goes his minions. Okay, that hurt a little bit. Um, but we could probably do the exact same thing, right? Meteor rain. Meteor rain. Okay, now we can hit him with some good stuff. We can do some stomps here. And in the usual, we're going to go ahead and do some uh, free lunch along with some amp strikes. And then with Tiz, we're going to go ahead and actually heal this time. So we're going to do a benediction with a mist on ourselves. Yep, and this should be good. This will heal us basically a little bit every turn. Or will they heal us completely every turn? Yeah, the bishop in the spellcraft is absolutely broken. And he's dead. Literally one, two turns. You absolutely love to see it. Okay, so now we got the Dark Knight asterisk. Yup.
specializes in offense. Yep. Well, uh, I know a lot of people are huge fans of the Dark Knight Asterisk. I'm actually oh, kind of not. I don't really like the Dark Knight. I don't. I've never Wait, been able to use him correctly. Wonderful. Your father would be proud of you. Now it's time to put this nation back on its feet. Soon we will be able to rebuild our infrastructure. So for now, we must work to replenish our coffers, while helping the poor as much as possible, of course. Not everything is black or white. With compromise and moderation, perhaps we can have our cake and eat it too. I trust you'll find a way. Yeah, so back to the... Well, first we gotta get this done. The taxes on foodstuffs were cut to almost nothing! I can't tell you how much easier things are now. Yeah, since the tax reform, business has been booming all over Grandship. Oh, I'm starving. Me too. It's too bad about the poor laws, though. The orphans have had a rough time of it. And what about Alternus? He hasn't been around much. Not since the engine room meeting. He's been running all over the place, trying to help the orphans. I guess it's not easy to keep the coffers full and look after the poor at the same time. Perhaps. And perhaps not? If you have huh? enough wealth, it spills over. So. All right, everyone. Time for the eat your fill buffet. The businesses do well. If they're good people, granted, eat your fill? they help the poor. Yeah, with the tax cuts, the merchants are finally turning a profit again. And they've been donating their extra profits to help feed the children. Aw, ain't that sweet? Like a proper utopia. Wow, that's really generous. Beg your pardon? I heard there were some children here looking for work. You bet there are, right behind you. Oh, don't you two look keen. If you apprentice with me, I'll pay for your schooling. What do you say? You got it, mister! We'll work hard and study hard, too! Capitalism. With the nation's economy improving, people are taking up the slack to look after the kids. Grandship should be proud of itself. I think so, too. It was all thanks to you, idiom. I like this ending better oh, than the I other one. I didn't really do anything. I just said what was on my mind. Idiom, my dear. The food won't last forever, you know. Aren't you going to dig in? <laughs> You don't have to ask twice. <laughs> yeah, I'd like this ending better here. The other one was alright because it basically just said, like, hey, honestly, things are expensive, but they work out. In this ending, things are not expensive and they work out. It's just like, it's a, uh, you know, it work this works out for everyone. And honestly, if I was going by just like my gut, this is actually the, pi the pick I would make, but I really wanted that time mage first. So... All right, let's go ahead and do another one. Let's let's bang these out. I'm gonna try to get these done in maybe two episodes. Um, I could probably get this done. We could also maybe go to Chompshire too, and maybe three in Chompshire. Maybe, 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 maybe. Okay, the blue chest is right over here. And give us something good. Give us something good. Another one. Okay, that's exactly what we needed, right? If we put, will would this increase our attack overall? Designed to be wielded in pairs, so it's we're supposed to wield them together, but I, I don't I don't think they give us any extra buffs or anything lying there um, But overall m all of my picks were basically what I wanted minus literally the last one there, so all right, Let's go beat it up. Like I said, we finish all these fights in basically two turns here, so Idiot you're late. I'm sorry, sir. We Wait, why am I apologizing again? <laughs> <clears throat> now then, allow me to bring you up to speed. No, nope, that's okay. I've got all the major points down. Oh, some kind of master detective now, are we? The murderer is within our midst! <gasps> oh. Soames, get yourself under control, or I'll do it for you. So sorry, Uncle. Well, he's not entirely wrong. Huh. What is it, Idia? Does something not meet your satisfaction? We have Madame Golddigger confined to the upper floor, and a stiff watch on the only stairway that can reach her. Good. 
Just don't forget that last bit. Hmm. Understood. Kikyo, I'd like you to stay right here if you would. Hmm? If anyone comes near you, no matter who they are, cut them down at once. Hmm? Just trust me. Now will you tell me why we have one of my men disguised as Madame Golddigger? Shh. That's just between us. No one else can know. Hmm. Very well, then. All right. Now we just have to wait for the guilty party to get impatient and slip up. <sighs> now we're playing that long game this time. Okay. Well, then that is where we go. A note? I shall follow where you go. Th this is the last words of Madame Golddigger? She didn't die yet, you bozo. Y yet? This long and still nothing? I expect you to blow your cover by now. Uh, sorry, but what are you talking about? I was just wondering how the true criminal, or rather the man who would have become the true criminal in this case, might feel <sighs> if he would only let go of all of his jealousy and envy for other people's family lines everything could be different um, uh, i i don't quite follow you what about you sholmes have you decided what you're going to do with your future ponder as i might i simply can't quite am i best suited to the life or am i destined to become a g hmm Ugh. Yes, so different option this time. I think you should follow in Heinkel's footsteps. You'd make a great inspector. Now's not the time for you to be running around on your own as a private eye. With nothing to guide you but your hunches. Start off by working with people who have experience. Learn the ropes of how to investigate, then go from there. If you do that, I bet you'll make a great inspector someday. Why, yes! When you put it that way, it's elementary. I'll train to become an inspector under my dear Uncle Heinkel's tutelage. <laughs> Kikyo? I was asked by your parents to help you find a job, a sheltered little fool I barely have any ties to, but still I agree to watch over you, even though I would rather do anything else, and this is how you repay me, you ingrate? Kikyo? And you. I knew you had more muscles than brains, but are you truly so foolish as to think that you could suggest that Sholmes become an inspector and it wouldn't end with you battling me, Idia? Okay. Uh, let's get it. Let's go ahead and defeat her in about two turns here. Hmm. Two turns. Probably even less than that. Oh, give me a break. The silent sleuth ninja Konoe Kikyo appears. That's what you want to say, right? So let's get on with it already. Hmm. Bum, bum, bum. You know, maybe we can even kill on one turn. Let's see. Do some stomps. Let's go ahead and do um, a free lunch along with piracy. And this is Stu default here. Oh, she defaulted. That sucks a little bit. That's alright. This just sucks a little bit here. We are probably gonna have to take a second turn to fix this. Not that big of a deal. We'll just heal out of it and. Okay. Just go ahead and do a benediction. Oh, why didn't I just do this first? Benediction missed, and we'll probably be good. Okay. Um, so default here. Yeah, it literally just fully heals us every turn. It's absolutely busted. Um, yeah, let's do the same thing here. Okay, you can counter, but I won't really do much else there. Okay, she'll be dead here. Yep. Gail Hairpin. Okay, we got the Ninja Asterisk, which I do like this class. 
I don't like its evading theme, because I don't like evading, but... Dual wielding favors daggers, but their costumes are absolutely sick, especially Magnolia's. So, it is a cool class. <laughs> so I lost to you. Who'd have thought you were this strong? Uh, who are you? The game is up, Whitson. There's no place for you to run. What? You hoped that I wouldn't follow my Uncle Heinkel in his line of work. You didn't want a formal investigation to uncover the truth. That you were here at this very fort two years ago. That you knew of a certain feature of this fort, and that you... <laughs> Let us end this charade. Whoa! When all you had was a laughable dream of becoming a private investigator, I could turn a blind eye. But when you finally gave up your ridiculous posturing and did some real detective work, you became quite the nuisance. What have you done with Kikyo? I don't have to answer to you. If you care so much, find her yourself. Get back here! Oh, he got away. And so they found the real Kikyo bound up in another of the fort's hidden corridors? That's right. I'm just relieved she wasn't hurt. Shulm says she was lured out by a false promise of information, then taken captive. Hmm. But in the end, we still don't know the truth of what happened? Well, thanks to Inspector Heinkel's investigation, several facts have come to light. Lord Gulliver's murder? was the sole work of Madame Goldiga, who was after his fortune from the beginning. She heard about the hidden corridor from Whitson. Apparently those two have a history together. She just happened to... Whitson mentioned the corridors when Lady Gold... Perhaps he also mentioned how I... A murder she then? Whatever he knew or didn't know, Whitson hurried to the... Then Madame Goldiga misread his intentions, thinking he was there to help her. In the end, she even tried. But what about the note we found? There were quite a few theories flying around about that note, weren't there? The madam might have written it, or... The truth seems to be that Lord Gulliver wrote that note himself. He did? I guess coming to Starkford and getting caught up in its history sparked the creative urge in him. That note was from a novel he was working on. Oh, so it was just a red herring. Forgive me. It's my fault for jumping to conclusions like I did. Apologizing for a bad hunch? Who are you, and what did you do with the real Sholmes? I'll take that as a compliment. Uncle Heinkel, I mean, Inspector Heinkel, has been teaching me what it means to truly be a part of a real investigative team. Sholmes, we have a case! I yes, sir? Go cordon off the scene and begin collecting evidence. I'll get there as soon as I can. Yes, sir! Crack that whip, Heinkel. Looks like you have some high hopes for him. Well, as it turns out, his insight has proved quite invaluable to our investigations. The day might even come when he's the one ordering me around. You don't seem too upset about that. If you'll excuse me, I'm due at the scene. I can't let that sniveling little upstart think he's in charge quite yet. Be well, Idia. It seems you chose well, Idia. Every- Yep. Not bad. And I'm relieved that I gave Sholmes good advice for his future, too. Excuse me. Can I make that too? One for me, too. Coming right up. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Ooh. Oh yeah, we have this side quest here, don't we? All right, we gotta do this side quest ah, here. I'm not doing this again. This guy's gonna hurt himself when he whirls around, and we're gonna... It seems this man is dead. Tis but a scratch. Uh... Please, don't force yourself. Hmm. It doesn't look like any... Well, that won't do. For the ominous party that left for grab keep, right? How did you know? Good guess. Ah, uh, here we go again. 
So what should we do? It's not like we have a choice. We'll just have to deliver the food. But... but if we do that, won't we? Maybe if we... No. We have to do it. Agreed. Then let's prepare ourselves as best we can. Sir, I think we're gonna need more food than you have there. And I need you to listen carefully to what I'm about to say. All right. Okay, so we're not actually going to go to that one. Here's what we're going to do today. Right now, we're going to go to Chompshire. And then we'll probably finish off the episode. So, luckily, we basically bought all of the um, magics. So, we no longer have to waste our money. Or waste. No, we don't have to buy those anymore. Which is going to help us a ton. So, we can specifically focus our money on the tools that we need. Which is going to be, you know, super, super nice. And we don't have any more CP. Okay, so elixirs, that would be cool, but those are a little expensive. Like I said, looks like the magics here are already learned, so we're good on that end. Let's just go down to this shop here. And yeah, this time it should be... Ooh. See, now these are costumes. Man, they're expensive. So we'll have to see. Anyway, we got these charms here. Ooh. Okay, now there's a lot of armor. We're going to be here for a little while. So I'm looking at these. Apparently, these are all the weapons that are yielded by the character. So look, this is Ominuses, Venuses, Pralamodes, the Bellas. Um, yeah, so these are all actually their weapons, which is absolutely sick. By Kikyo, by Heinkel, by Denny. It's so cool. And they, they, they also happen to be... I think these are the best in the game, too, if I'm not correct. Okay, so I gotta pick out what to buy here. Okay, man, we got a lot of like little things here and there. Um, let's buy this washcloth for 200,000. And then I think, man, let's buy, let's buy the dark bringer here. That's about all we can actually buy. So we're basically already out of money. But what's nice, so let's go to Adia. We're going to go ahead and put the Dark Bringer on her here. It's a sick looking sword. And then I can put the washcloth on anybody. So this is where basically the pool, the pool thing. Now, let me remove that. What does it look like on each character here? So let's go to the next. Okay, so. Well, that's a weird little hanging shield right there. So what does this look like on you? I just want to... I don't even know a fault, but that's kind of funny. I might... I kind of want to buy four washcloths and just have everyone in one of these. But that's 800,000. Um, but for now, I'm actually going to... Funny enough, I'm going to put on a Dia. For the fact that I said earlier, I'm actually not a huge fan of their out... I'm not even a fan of the night outfit for a Dia. Um, so thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment on the channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.